So I'm standing here in front of my new house that I just closed on today and I'm so excited. It has everything that I've always wanted to have in a house and more. And so I just wanna give you a quick sneak peek of what it looks like right now and talk about some of the plans that we have over the upcoming months of things that we wanna to do to it. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and we'll kind of talk through what it is right now and what we're gonna be doing in the future. So before we even go inside, you know, we have our guard dog, Lola, at the front door there. Um, but what we'll go ahead and do is we'll take a quick look at the casita. So this was super important to me because I have a lot of business partners that live in other states and a lot of friends and then family that live in other states as well. And I really have always wanted to be able to host people at my home, but kind of not in my home. And so, you know, having the casita really accomplishes that, you know, in here and throughout the entire property, we're going to be redoing all of the floors, you know, over the upcoming weeks, but giving you an idea of the space, just pretty simple casita set up with a full bathroom. And then there's Eric. <laughs> but you know, full full bathroom. So you know, any guests that are staying here, we're gonna set it up, you know, kind of Airbnb style the best I can. You know, having the bed, TV, and like all of the you know little niceties. It's nice to have when you're staying in a little hotel room. That's essentially how we're gonna set that up. So let's go ahead and go on inside. <laughs> hey. So we we have uh, Loller, Lola Lollerson over Ms. here, Miss Lollerson, and then my beautiful girlfriend Hael. And so, oh. and Lola wanted to bring her her <laughs> leash and and show you show you the house. <laughs> So let's just jump, you know, right into the, the room off to the side here. So this is gonna be again, you know, like I mentioned, the entire house, we're redoing the flooring everywhere. We got a really nice engineered wood um, that's gonna be going in throughout the house. And this will eventually be my office, has its own closet and full bathroom as well. No need to really look at the bathroom. They all look kind of the same and we'll be getting work done to those over the time as well. And so we'll walk over to one of my favorite rooms in the house as well. And it was really just a multitude of things that made this house really a great fit for us. And this was one of them in particular. So there's kind of this weird space right here of like, you know, off of the dining room that we weren't really sure what to do with. But what we've realized is we're probably gonna just turn this into kind of like a snack bar slash movie bar. And the reason why is because we actually have a room over here this big space we're going to turn into a movie theater room so the pathway i just walked through we're going to put up a door there and then we're going to have a projector on the wall you know the other side of me get some movie theater seating get some blackout curtains and you know get the sound system all set up good to go because really the only pastimes I have are I love to work and I love business and then I love movies. We love watching movies and you know watching TV shows like, like that's. Like we don't go to bars. Yeah. We don't go, like I mean we'll do restaurants. I think restaurant and movies. Yep. That's yeah. Nice that's about it. But yeah. now we're gonna turn this into that space. We're never to, gonna leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, another reason to not leave because we'll have everything at home. <laughs> And then it has powder bath kind of off of the room there that again, we'll be doing the flooring and all sorts of fun stuff. And then kind of off that space, we have the, the dining room, which, you know, this space, I mean, pretty much all of the fixtures that you see we'll be redoing over the upcoming months. We'll put, you know, some artwork up, paint some stuff, do some taller baseboards. <laughs> Nothing, nothing too, nothing too crazy, but you know, set up a nice dining space so that, you know, something for us is we want to be able to host our families for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of the major holidays or birthdays. And so it was important to us where neither of us really care about a dining space for ourselves, but more of, you know, being able to host and have our home be a place that can feel like home for other people too. So this room, we're gonna be turning into our game room. So probably like a pool table, TV on the wall, kind of, you know, a couple of chairs to hang out and just have a good time. Probably have, you know, our pup's doggy door over there too. So she has her entry, I guess. So just a couple of bedrooms over here. This room will end up turning into a guest room. So whenever we have more than, you know, a couple of guests that may stay in the casita, they'll be able to stay in the main house as well. And then another full bathroom. 
And that was one of the things that we really liked about this house too, is every single bedroom has a full bathroom attached to it. And so it's really nice, you know, so, you know, no one really likes to when they're staying at their friend's or family's house, share the bathroom with each other. So it's just kind of nice to have your own space. And then this is arguably probably the best room in the house. And I'm very jealous, but this is going to be Hyle's office. And so it just has great views out to the pool in the backyard and another full bathroom, you know, like we had mentioned and which is very nice. Right, well, I was leading the charge. So we'll kind of head into the, the living room area. And we really like this because it's important to have you know, kind of a focal point of the home. And, you know, I really like that, you know, especially in, in Arizona, it's really nice to be able to enjoy the, the weather. And I know not during the summer, but once it gets around to winter time, it's really nice to be able to open up these doors and just be able to have kind of that indoor outdoor living space and be able to do barbecues and you know have friends over and be able to just be hanging out outside and inside and having some you know beautiful greenery as well so that was something that we were really really excited about you know the current house that we're in you know it only had it had a traditional six foot slider and that was nice but i mean we even tore that down and did a 12 foot so it's always been something that we've really enjoyed is having you know a nice big slider with a good view out to the backyard. That's our psychopath dog. Um, the real reason we're in a house with you know the big yard you're gonna see is because of this creature it needs this a lot of space. Well, this is it. We're like, oh my god, Lola would love this. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Like, the kitchen has nice appliances already, which you know are great. Over some time, when we do another update on, on the house, we're gonna end up redoing the kitchen. Just not a huge fan of what they did with the cabinets and not a huge fan of the countertops. But for now, we're probably gonna leave it for a few months and you know get to work on doing some other areas of the house. And then probably sometime in 2024, come in and kind of redo the kitchen with you know more of the style that we're looking for. But the overall space we we're super happy with. All right, well, let's go ahead to the master bedroom. Before we head to the master bedroom, this is another powder bath off for guests. And then, you know, same thing when we end up redoing the kitchen, we'll probably end up, you know, redoing this space. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll paint these, do some new hardware, uh, maybe new counters. Not fully sure yet, but Overall, good size laundry room, which is nice. And then we have the garage, which this just pains me for my car lovers. Brown epoxy. I, you know, it, it hurts my soul because the owner did this literally two years ago and it's brown and I don't know, I'm gonna end up redoing this probably like a gray epoxy with the black and white, you know, speckles on it. But for now, it's at least epoxied and that's, that's cool. But, you know, more importantly, it is a four car garage, which is very important to me to be able to have enough space because if you know anything about me, I love cars and I wanna be able to have enough space for, uh, for the cars that I want to eventually collect and all that fun stuff. Lola, come on, inside. She listens sometimes. All right, now we'll go to the master. So down this hallway, we're actually, you know, within probably a few months, gonna turn this kind of into like a little coffee bar because that is the most important way to start the morning is having coffee immediately. And for me, I'm not a crazy, you know, online guru of like, you need to wake up at 4 a.m. and meditate for an hour and journal for an hour and work out for an hour and then do Wim Hof breathing for an hour and then, you know, ice bath for 10 minutes and spend five hours doing a morning routine. My morning routine is simple. I wake up after I'd planned out what I was gonna do for the day the night before, drink my coffee, get to work or work out based on whatever day of the week it is. Crazy concept, but then I just go to work. Crazy routine. So this is the master bedroom, which is a good size. Again, flooring will be all done throughout. I don't know what in the heck they were thinking with this space here, but probably do a nice little, I don't know, circular type couch or something to, to hang out on over there. But, you know, we'll see. And then the 
the bathroom we're really excited about. You know, it has two separate closets here, which is nice, you know, a his and hers closet. And the bathroom is a really good size. And so, you know, we're already going to be, you know, one of the first things that we're doing here is ripping out all the flooring again, like I said, and that'll be done in here. And then the shower, we're also literally, you know, we close today, next week, the shower is being ripped out. I don't know why someone thought that in 2021, when this house was built, this was the design choice. Again, I didn't say 2001, because yes, that's what you would think that this was built in this 2001 when you look at, you know, the style that they chose to do in here. Again, it, it's functional, but it's just, it's not updated to 2023. So we'll be tearing that out and redoing that as part of like one of the first phases of the project. But overall, really good, you know, space in here that we're excited to have. And, you know, definitely love having a tub for anyone that, you know, deals with stress. Definitely love utilizing the tub with uh, Epsom salts or whatever, you know, all that good stuff. Relax the body, relax the mind. And so I definitely enjoy having that. So let's go to the backyard. So it is nice having this this space just like off the off the bedroom here. And then, you know, I really like, I'm a big weirdo on this, but I really like having a lot of space in between the houses around me because I don't want to, I don't like feeling claustrophobic. And, you know, there was a house that me and Hael had looked at before this one and we loved it so much, but it was on a lot smaller lot, about half the size. And we were walking into the backyard and we're like, oh my gosh, this house is perfect. And then we were just walking along, you know, the yard, but the, it was so close to the houses next to each other that literally the neighbor started like this, like old man started hacking up his lungs and like all we could hear was him hacking up his lungs. And I'm like, this does not seem like a peaceful environment. <laughs> and so it may be petty, but it's just a little thing that, you know, we wanted in the next house that we moved to is we wanted a little bit of breathing room away from people. And this is just, freaking sick so this is the rv garage which is literally the the jewel of the house and in my opinion really like what they did with the you know the style of doors on it and you know inside i'll show you the plans that i have it's really you know nice what they did with the yard where you know there's a lot of good space between the houses on each side and even on this side where you know they have their RV garage there. It's not like it's a two-story house where they're looking into our yard. So didn't really mind that too much. And what we're actually gonna be doing is we have about 30 10-foot hedges that are gonna be coming in within a month. And it's gonna line this entire side of the yard. So we won't even, I mean, we're not even gonna be able to see anything over there anyways. So that's kind of gonna be the plan there. Obviously the, the pool was something that was important to us. You know, if you are, considering you know buying a new home it's always nice to get it with a pool because whatever you spend doing a pool you're never going to get the investment back yes i'm probably going to spend a bunch of money on stuff inside the house and i'm not going to get the investment on either but when it comes to a pool it's it's a significant investment for a very fractional increase in value of the home so it's always nice to have someone else spend that money and you get the benefit once you buy so we we're really happy to get that and just overall, we have a nice dog run area that we're gonna turn into the space for, for Lola. So she'll have her, her space to hang out over there. And then it's really interesting is this neighborhood is in a protected kind of citrus area of Mesa, Arizona here. And this all used to be citrus farms. And so it's kind of a cool thing where they require the houses in this specific neighborhood to keep these orange trees. So everyone has orange trees in their yard, a different amount each. And literally in the homeowners association, there's 12 trees here. I have to keep 12 orange trees in my yard at any given time to basically honor these old citrus farms that have been in this area for a hundred plus years. And fun fact, citrus is one of the main, I guess, I don't know whether it's exports or commodities of the state of Arizona, citrus and orange, oranges. So just very popular thing here, I guess, I don't know. But this is a not lighted area. I think we forgot to turn the lights on here, but they had a little barbecue grill area set up here already. We're probably gonna extend onto this in some time and do some other, other fun stuff here, but just another hangout area. And then, 
really exciting part, which is again, the RV garage. This space is gonna be sick. This will probably be, you know, over 12 to 18 months that I'm gonna do all of this because it's gonna be a big project. But as you can see all of the space in here and this little, you know, weird looking room that's currently here right now. So we're gonna extend this over a little bit and turn this into a full bath so that it could be kind of like a bathroom for the pool. And so we'll have, you know, a full shower, sink, toilet in here. And then what we're gonna do is turn this whole section of the RV garage into a home gym. So, you know, we'll have everything that we need to have, you know, the gym at home, have like a little sauna set up as well. And then probably get a couple car lifts for this front area to eventually over time, you know, collect cars and all that fun stuff. And directly above where Eric is standing, going to be actually turning this into a loft. So it's either gonna be, you know, a spiral staircase or staircase up. And I'm gonna turn this an entire area from right about here over into a loft space where that's what will actually turn into my office. Get a couple, you know, split unit ACs and in, in here to cool it down and then be able to have that be, you know, my man cave, my office, you know, have the cars in here to, you know, have that as a cool view and a cool hangout, have the bathroom and anything that I'd need, a little, you know, mini fridge and all the fun stuff. And then have the gym downstairs. So this will be one of my favorite places to, to hang out once that's all done. And we have the lights on out here now, which I'd be curious, I wonder if there's any scorpions out here right now. That is the first day that we came to look at this house. We were so excited, we came back again later that night and there was a scorpion that was hanging out on the ceiling out here. So that was uh, definitely one of the first things that we're doing is getting everything sprayed for scorpions. Because scorpions love citrus for whatever reason and we also love it, but don't love the scorpions. So I have to take care of that. <laughs> so over, you know, the next, I don't know, year, year and a half, we're gonna be getting a lot of these projects done. I'm really excited to be able to, you know, just show some of that progress, whether you're following me on Instagram at Cody Barton Official, we'll be posting little snippets and different things on there. And then I'll also be making some YouTube videos just showing, you know, the stages of transformation. Cause obviously there's a lot of things, you know, it's about 5,200 square feet. So a lot of space to do a lot of things in. And so we'll definitely be making more videos and show you the progress step by step and probably the progress of other cars that end up in the garage, you know, outside of the Huracan or the S65 or whatever other toys are to come. <laughs>